In this quick start video, you will learn how to start up the Gaja Anima to quickly make and customize espresso, coffee, and milk-based espresso beverages. Topics covered include turn on and initial setup, adjusting the coffee grinder, water and beans, coffee strength adjustment and using pre-ground coffee, coffee temperature adjustment, how to make and program coffee drinks, and using the Panarello wand for milk-based espresso beverages. For additional information, please refer to the manual that came with your machine. The power cord attaches at the back of the machine. There is a main power switch in back also. Push so the straight line side of the switch is in. With the power turned on at the back of the machine, the standby switch below the display flashes red. Pushing the standby switch turns the machine on. Pushing again returns the machine to standby mode. For now, leave the machine in standby mode with the button flashing red. Please note it is normal for the first few coffees to be weak as the Anima's adaptive brewing system self-adjusts and when making grind size changes. Do not use coffee beans with an oily surface or flavor coatings. These may clog internal components. Use high quality coffee beans with a dry surface. The Anima ceramic burr grinder will not operate with the bean door open. This is a safety feature for machines in the United States. Prior to first use of the Gaja Anima and before adding beans, use a provided multifunction tool to adjust the grinder to the medium grind setting. This allows beans to properly enter the grinder when first used. To adjust, push down with the tool and turn to line up the yellow indicator line to the middle of the five grind size dots. After brewing a few coffees, you can make further adjustments to the grinder. If you tend to drink longer coffees, a medium to coarse grind setting is recommended. For espresso, we recommend a finer setting. Be aware that depending on the coffee used and coffee strength, a very fine setting may cause a slow or no brewing condition. Should this occur, adjust grind to a coarser setting. It is very important to adjust grind size in one dot increments only and brew at least one coffee in between each grind size adjustment. Please note it may take a few brewing cycles to obtain the full results of grind size changes as the Anima's specialized adaptive brewing system self-adjusts based on extraction analysis. The water reservoir is located under a door on the left side of the machine. Prior to first use, rinse the reservoir and fill with water. Replace the reservoir in the machine. Press the standby button to turn the machine on. The display will show an icon with a water drop and circular arrows and a check mark at the lower left. Press the aroma strength button next to the check mark. The machine will prime the internal water circuit and may dispense water from the hot water spout and the coffee spouts as it primes and continues to warm up. Once the machine is primed, the next time it's turned on, priming will not be required and the machine will be ready to go after a short warm up. During warm up, it is normal for a small amount of water to be expelled from the coffee spouts as the machine rinses and preheats internal components. A similar rinse cycle happens when the machine is powered off to standby mode. While the machine is warming up, add some whole coffee beans to the bean hopper. Be aware that dark roasted beans with an oily surface or beans with a flavor coating should not be used in any super automatic espresso machine as they may clog internal components. Once warmed up with beans and water loaded, the machine will indicate it's ready to brew with the display showing a coffee cup and bean icons on the right which indicate coffee strength. To reduce lime scale buildup, descaling maintenance and improve coffee flavor, use of an in-reservoir water filter is recommended. The Gaja Anima uses the Mavia Intenza Plus water filter which is sold separately. Please note the Anima must be primed and the filter pre-soaked following package directions prior to installation in the water reservoir.
Coffee strength is selected prior to making any beverage using the aroma strength button. There are five strength levels ranging from one bean in the display up to five beans which indicates the strongest cup. Pressing the aroma strength button cycles through the strengths. Once a strength is selected, that strength is retained and used for future brewing unless adjusted again. To use pre-ground coffee, press the aroma strength button until the scoop icon is displayed. Fill the coffee scoop of the multifunction tool lightly with pre-ground coffee. Do not pack the coffee in the scoop. Load the coffee into the bypass door on top of the machine. If the machine detects too much coffee, it may reject the dose. So again, be sure to fill the scoop lightly and do not compress coffee in the scoop. Should the machine reject the dose, try again using less coffee. You can brew any coffee or milk-based beverage using pre-ground coffee. Coffee temperature is selectable in three levels and is set in the menu. Press the menu button to access the menu, then press the check button to enter the menu. To adjust temperature, use the up and down arrow keys, which are the steam button and menu button to set your preferred temperature. Once set, temperature will remain the same for all future beverages unless changed in the menu. To save your temperature setting, press the check button, which is the aroma strength button. To return to the main screen, press the back button, which is the espresso button. Espresso and Espresso Lungo, also known as a long coffee, are made using the upper two buttons on the left-hand side of the Gaja Anima. These buttons can be programmed to deliver the volume of coffee desired. The default presets are approximately 1.5 ounces for espresso and about 4 ounces for the espresso lungo. Pressing a button once makes one coffee. Pressing either button two times rapidly will make two coffees using two grind cycles to maintain full strength and flavor. To program either button to deliver a different amount of coffee, press and hold a button until memo appears in the display. Once the desired amount of coffee is dispensed, press the aroma strength button with a check mark next to it to stop coffee delivery and store that amount. When reprogrammed, a button will deliver that amount of coffee each time it's pressed until reprogrammed. If needed, coffee delivery can be stopped at any time by pressing the aroma strength button. The Gaja Anima uses an auto-frothing Panarello steam wand to produce frothed milk for milk-based espresso beverages like latte and cappuccino. Before using the Panarello wand, make sure that it is properly assembled. The wand consists of three parts, a rubber mount, outer sleeve, and an inner plastic piece. When assembled properly, the inner plastic piece lines up with the tip of the outer sleeve to look like this. Verify the rubber mount of the Panarello wand is properly seated on the steam and hot water pipe. Slide into position until secure. Prior to creating milk froth, purge the steaming circuit of any residual water. To do this, press the steam button. The machine will heat up to steaming temperature as indicated by a progress bar in the display. When up to temperature, a pumping sound will be heard and after a few moments, excess water is purged through the Panarello wand. When only steam is expelled with little or no water, press the aroma strength button next to the check mark to stop steam production. To begin frothing, place the tip of the Panarello wand just below the surface of some milk in a frothing pitcher and press the steam button. For best results, use cold milk. After a short warm-up, steam is sent to the wand and frothing begins. Maintain the tip position just below the surface of the milk. As the milk is frothed, it will expand in the pitcher. During frothing, try to angle the wand to create a rolling motion which helps to break up larger air bubbles and create a finer froth. As the milk is frothed, you can stop adding air by positioning the wand tip deeper into the milk. There is a small air intake hole on the outer sleeve of the wand. 
When this hole is below the surface of the milk, no additional air is added. For typical frothing, keep the wand tip near but below the surface of the milk until the outside of the frothing pitcher begins to feel warm. Then lower the wand tip deeper in the milk to cover the air intake hole and continue to heat and swirl the milk just until the outside of the pitcher is starting to get heated to the point where it's slightly uncomfortable to hold. This produces a milk froth of about 140 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit which is a sweet spot for best flavor. When done frothing, press the aroma strength button with the wand tip still in the milk to stop steam production. Please note the Panarello wand must be kept clean for best frothing performance. After frothing, wipe the wand with a cloth and press the hot water button to rinse the wand internally for a few seconds. When done frothing for the day, remove the wand from the machine, take it apart and clean thoroughly. Give extra attention to the air intake hole. Milk residue here will result in poor frothing performance. To complete your beverage, pour your froth milk over espresso for a latte or brew an espresso over froth milk for a cappuccino. That wraps up this quick start guide for the Gaja Anima. For additional information, please refer to the manual that came with your machine.